आई होप यूर गेट डी ए पेपर वेंट वेल ओके सो पेपर वॉज इजी टू मीडियम आई वुड से इजी टू मीडियम लेवल देर वे फ्यू क्वेश्चन लाइक फाइव टू सिक्स क्वेश्चन विच वॉज विच इज हैविंग गुड अमाउंट ऑफ डिफिकल्टी लेवल बट दैट विल बी अ केस ऑलवेज ओके सो देर विल बी अ क्वेश्चन दैट विल बी डिफिकल्ट सो दैट विल बी अ रैंक डिसाइडिंग क्वेश्चन बट मोस्ट ऑफ द पेपर वॉज इजी टू मीडियम ओनली ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सब्जेक्ट वाइज वेटेज ओके सो बट फर्स्ट वील look at the pattern okay very very important thing pattern of a gate da paper of today's gate da paper so we all know that 15 marks for aptitude and 85 marks for technical thing right syllabus gate da syllabus okay technical and this is the distribution of those subjects so we are going to discuss in detail so one important observation is that out of 25 one mark questions so there was 25 questions of one marks up from which 16 question were mcq okay 16 question were mcq then 3 question were msq and 6 question were nat type of question okay nat type of question means you need to do a calculation and you have to put the accurate answer for this type of questions okay 6 nat question was there in one marker if we talk about two marker there, there were 30 question right out of this 30 question 10 question were mcq 10 question were msq and 10 question and nt type of questions okay so important observation as they are focusing more on nt type of question and mcq and msq as well right so this is a pattern in which they have asked the question okay so we we'll try to implement this pattern in our get da 25 exam okay get da 25 test series so we are going to uh, launch the course and the test series for gate da 25 in this test series we are going to follow this type of pattern okay not exactly same but but similar to this pattern we are going to follow in our upcoming test series okay so first we'll discuss the weightage of each subject and then i will also discuss the, the topic from which the question has been asked in each of the subject okay but first let's see the weightage from probability and statistics there were four question for one marker and six question for two marks it means total 16 marks clear algebra two question for one mark and three question for two marks total eight marks question okay so total eight marks for calculus three one marker question and four two marker question so that is basically total 11 marks so if you observe carefully this mathematics part okay mathematics and statistics part is nearly about 35 marks okay 35 marks So out of 85, 35 marks was based on probability, statistics, linear algebra, and calculus. In this thing, where and this thing will be there in next uh, year DA paper also. Okay, remember this point because we are going to focus more on the mathematical part. Okay, so next year also you can expect similar uh, thing near about uh, 35. Okay, so somewhere between this only you can expect next year also. Then we talk about the AI thing. Okay, so AI there were four question, one marker based on uh, AI, then three question of two marks. So total ten marks for AI. ML very a uh, good number of question has been asked in ML. So five questions from like five question, one mark question, and two mark question was also five. So total marks was fifteen for this particular ML part. For PDSA, one mark question was four, two mark question was seven, eight. 18 marks has been on PDSA, so more focus on Python and data structure and data structure algorithm. Very important thing. 18 marks has been given to PDSA. I will discuss the topic from which they have asked the question. Okay, but let discuss the uh, this weightage first. Okay, so probability and statistics 16 marks, PDSA 18 marks. Okay, DBMS like. i would like to see a more weightage for on dbms just seven marks from uh, dbms but i hope in next uh, gate exam they will ask more question based on dbms and they will decrease the marks question for pdsa okay so there is a chance of increasing the number of question and number of weight and weightage for dbms topic and decrease the marks from uh, pdsa okay so this thing can happen for gate 25 okay so remember this point so don't think that dbms just came for seven marks so next year also they will follow the same pattern no i think that pdsa will decrease and dbms will increase 
rest of the topics looks okay but but these two topics uh, they need to uh, correct right so dbms is going to show only increase in the next year okay so simple seven marks was there so if you do a total total 85 marks right so this is the weightage subject wise weightage for each of the uh, subject for gate ea paper okay so what important uh, take away from this particular thing is that focus more on probability statistics linear algebra and calculus part okay so algebra and calculus were easy only uh, simple if you have just watched my uh, lectures also tutorials also then you will be able to easily do this type of questions okay i already provided the linear algebra tutorials and calculus also so that will be enough if you have some basic understanding of engineering mathematics of these topics then right so those videos will be sufficient for you ai part like we have focused more on ai part like you, you can see on youtube also i have uploaded most of the questions on ai so so question was nearly theoretical very less uh, numerical or conceptual question was there but ai was also 10 months but in next year also they can ask good amount of questions from ai okay so there is a chance of ai and dbms to get improved ml is 15 marks so as expected around 10 to around 12 to 15 so they have asked for 15 marks questions were easy okay all the questions were easy nothing uh, difficult in the ml question uh paper was good but for pdsa it's 18 so we need to focus more on pdsa but for next year do they i think they will decrease this weightage for pdsa for sure okay so please uh take a note of this try and start your preparation accordingly okay so this is about the weightage right so this is the weightage subject wise -right weightage for a gate da paper you can just go through it in the next video i will discuss the topics which were asked in the gate exam topics like each of the topic i have noted down the topics from which the question has been asked for each of the subjects so that would be a very very important video for uh, next time uh like if you are preparing for gate 25 so this video is very very important for you people so i am going to record this video next so try to watch this video okay so that's it from my side. Thank you.